Hey guys, welcome back to another video by jmatted 184 and to all my new subscribers, a big welcome to my channel. Coming at you, here it is, week 8, and it is day number 56 of the 60 gallon reef tank since introduction of the deep sand bed and re-aquascape of the tank. You know, it's just doing absolutely great. I dose a Bionic 2 part to keep everything stable as far as calcium alkalinity. Uh, which also keeps my pH in check and I also dose some uh, trace elements which is also keeping the corals you know great and healthy um, all the parameters are doing awesome spot on you know no nitrates whatsoever in the tank at the moment uh, I think between the deep sand bed and uh, the filtration everything else it's just getting consumed as fast as it's being produced which isn't very fast uh, I feed this tank sparingly and I take extra precautions to not introduce any extra phosphates than I actually need to. So with that being said we'll go ahead and we'll run into the corals. Uh, as you know from my last video the uh, frog spawn, the uh, euphilia here that the uh, clownfish host in wasn't doing so hot and it's definitely not doing good now. As you can see there's more degeneration of this uh, particular branch on this coral. Uh, it's always upsetting, you know, to see a nice healthy coral just start to go away for no apparent reason. I mean, there's other euphilia species in here in the tank and they're unaffected, so I'm not really sure. Hopefully figure it out, but as for right now, it's still a mystery. The uh, SPS corals in here are doing really good. Um, right here, again, just getting both in the frame. Yeah, the uh, Monty Cap on the left is doing awesome, all kinds of new growth. It's starting to plate out in like a horizontal fashion, which is great. Uh, the lighting here is pretty intense, so it's spreading out to capture that light instead of trying to reach up to it. The uh, acro here on the right is doing really good as well. Can't complain considering it was free, just like the Monty Cap. The amount of growth on it is just amazing to me. Down here, the uh, spongeos is also doing really good. Good coloration, all kinds of new growth. You can kind of see underneath it there. Doing good. Uh, since we're over here, we'll go ahead and we'll just run into the uh, the trumpets, which are doing awesome. Better and better every day. I was looking back at some previous videos, and this coral's come quite a long way. Oh uh, yeah, back up here, the uh, the Duncans are doing really good. They're not even fully extended. They get much larger. Uh, the white lights just came on, so they'll probably be getting bigger here even by the end of the video. Moving down, the uh, bubble coral is doing good. No complaints there. Not sure if there's new growth or not, but it's it's maintaining. Clams are doing great. Acan echinata also doing really good. The uh, Acan area over here is doing really well. I don't know if you can see it in this shot here. I'll try and focus it, but on the uh, orange A can there in the back, just below it there where the flesh meets the skeleton, you can see um, new mouths growing. There's actually three just right there, so I'm assuming there's probably more around the other side of it as well. That's a plus. This A can is doing good, getting more inflated as time goes by, which is great. Sometimes it takes a while for, depends on the type of A can to acclimate to your tank, so they all kind of do their own thing, but eventually they will look good with good water quality and good feeding. This one up here, the little rainbow one, is doing awesome. As you can see, just from two weeks ago when I made the last video, um, they were looking kind of thin, but now they're fat and happy. Same with this one in the back, looking good as always. This one, fatter by the day, also looking good. This one up here is doing pretty much the same. Not sure if that one polyp I was kind of missing you know but as you can see there's a little stump there and that's kind of its own little mouth now got this a can here the other day uh, about two days ago um, it's kind of shriveled up right now because just before I made this video I gave the glass a quick wipe down and in doing so the mag float got kind of close and just kind of irritated it, so it retracted a bit but as you can see the little tentacles on it even during the day have good extension but normally they're about twice that length and this is much more inflated so I think over time as it acclimates it'll probably start looking like this one here 
because this one is pretty much aquacultured and has been growing for a while, so it's just taking some time to get used to my tank. This A can also doing really well. This one doing just the same, no complaints. The uh, candy canes are also doing really good. You know, they're much more polyp extension than before. Lobophilia, just fat and happy, let me tell you. Man, that's a happy coral. And then over here to the uh, Tyree toadstool, which is just, I'm pretty sure it's growing already. You know, doing great. I started feeding the tank this um, this food that a buddy of mine promotes. Um, it's not really well known in the community as far as uh, reefing supplies go, but I do plan on doing a video of that. Um, as you can see, I mean the results of it are just great. I mean the polyp extension on this coral. I'm trying to get a close up here, best I can, so you can just see it in detail is just crazy. This coral loves it. Scully in the back is doing really good. No complaints there. It's proving to be a healthy specimen. May's brain also doing good. Starting to get some new color, a little bit of blue growing on it. This chalice in the front here is doing really good too. Nice and fat. Doesn't show feeding tentacles, but it must be eating or something because it's doing great. This brings me up here to a coral that I've been looking for for quite some time. This one is a uh, Blastomosa wellsi. I'm not sure of the origin of it, but it's amazing. I mean, the polyps are just massive. Normally on these, the ones that I've seen recently, the polyps are pretty small, maybe about the size of a quarter at best, but the polyps on this are just big and meaty and just really, really good looking coral. Over to the right of it, you see that the uh, palithoas are pretty closed up. Uh, one of the things that I've noticed with this coral is about once a month or so, it'll close up like this and it'll stay closed up for a day, maybe two days, and then it kind of sheds this little bit of kind of a skin and then the polyps open up and they just look amazing so it's just kind of in its little dormant state that I call it like to call it and you see over there in the back the uh, bubble coral is doing pretty good no complaints really this one here I will complain about because it's just growing too huge uh, just the other day it expanded so large that it was actually touching the maze brain which is crazy considering the distance between these two right now is close to about an inch right now so this coral may have to go soon pulsing zinnia in the back I move the rock over there pulsing away nutrients are going up a little bit in my tank which is kinda what I wanted you know and the coral seem to be liking it a little bit better uh, since getting rid of the uh, NP reducing bio pellet reactor over here, the gold orange torch, whichever you want to call it, is doing amazing. Started feeding it directly, and this coral really responds well to it. Unlike my other torch, which won't accept any kind of food, this one just inhales it, similar to the way an anemone does. Very healthy coral right now. Duncan's doing really good. Huge. The uh, baby polyps on it are doing really well they're growing in size hammer coral is doing 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 it big just huge and it's throwing out some sweeper tentacles so this could be a problem soon it's trying to sting the favia can't quite reach the torch up there which is also doing really well so we'll see what happens here may have to move the favia a little bit I want to try and get a shot of something that I thought was really interesting in here I don't know if you can see it but in the center of the frame, inside the crease of that rock, there's a little red dot, kind of like a little ball. And it has two little red dots on it. 
and I have a couple of these in the tank. I'm not sure what they are, so if anyone has seen them before, let me know. If you can, try and watch this video in 1080p on full screen to really see what I'm talking about because I think it's the only way you're going to really be able to see it. Tyree Blue Chalice, lots and lots of new growth. I mean, you can kind of see how it's starting to grow down a little bit there. Just looking amazing considering it sat on these mushrooms down here for a short period of time with I mean these mushrooms are doing great too all of them no complaints one thing I will complain about also is the uh, Symphilia Wilsani which is just bleaching out like nobody else's business uh, it's it's a shame I mean this coral was really dark and had some really good rainbow colors but now it's just kind of uh, the camera's washing out a little bit but the lightest colors are more of like a light green. The centers are still pink. Um, but other than that, it's just not the same coral. It is fully inflated. It does show really good feeding response at night. You know, the feeder tentacles are out like crazy. So it's, it's healthy. It's just lost some of its color. So hopefully that color will come back with time and acclimation. Candy cane over here is doing really good. Fat and happy, no complaints. This Lobo is doing really good. Rose bubble tip anemones, as always, are just constantly growing. I mean, this one's the original one is doing really huge here. You know, the other one there in the back, I'm trying to get a shot here. Doing good. And of course, the uh, smaller one inside there. So yeah, I mean, that pretty much does it as far as the uh, corals and everything go, which are overall doing really good. Go ahead and I'll bring you down to the sump area here. I made a couple changes, minor changes. Over here on the output of the skimmer, I went ahead and put in the gate valve. Uh, I was trying to see if I can get some more skim going on inside the... Uh, skimmer. Um, as you know before I had the T fitting on there, just a little little T branch and it kind of didn't allow me to regulate the uh, height of the water inside the, the neck of the skimmer. Uh, so now with the uh, valve on there I can regulate that more precisely instead of just using the uh, air valve here to uh, regulate how much, regulate the height excuse me inside of here. Uh, so far it's doing really good. Uh, one of the other changes I made, I'm not sure how well you'll be able to see it, I'll show it to you here. I went ahead and put the filter sock back on, and one of the things I'll, you'll see in here also is I made a slight modification. I uh, put a 90 degree elbow inside of here to prevent the splashing, so the water kind of comes out, comes out, comes along the side of the sock instead of falling straight down, which was just making this absolutely awful noise. So we'll see how that does. Kind of tired of getting build up of detritus down here, so hopefully that helps. Another thing you'll see too is I haven't really given you an update on this is the uh, refugium. Uh, still don't have any kind of a you know sand or miracle mud or whatever else I decided to put in here, but I just have a live rock and the uh, catamorpha is just growing like crazy side here. You know, I mean the amount that I have is pretty much doubled in the last month and a half so pretty happy about that. That's a good sign. So yeah guys the uh, tank is doing really good. Overall I would say that I'm satisfied with the system. As always, the tank is constantly changing, and right now it's just really changing for the better. Uh, I just want to thank you guys for watching, and for those of you that aren't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe up. Lots and lots of more videos coming documenting this tank, and uh, if you get a chance and you enjoy the video, rate it, give it a thumbs up, guys. Appreciate it. You guys are awesome. You inspire me, and you know push me, you know, by me seeing your systems and seeing the ideas that you guys have on your tanks, you know, just 
it really gets me gets me going and you know helps me push through you know the the downs in this hobby so with that being said keep this short thanks for watching and happy reefing more videos to come guys stay tuned jmana184 signing out